pages from a magazine Been looking for the answers Ever since we were 17 Cause we're gonna be legends Gonna get their attention What we're doing here ain't just scary It's about to be legendary running for quite a long time um, before running I was a completely different person so it's kind of given me my identity so without running I wouldn't be me um, I think like nothing's better than crossing the line you see like the time up you're just like yeah everything's been worth it um, I think uh, I spoke quite a lot about um, to this to Maz. Uh, I don't think not enough people speak in running um, and I am very much want to like put it out there like everyone sees all the glitz and the glamour and like when you're running really fast yeah everyone wants to know you but what about the times when you're like down in a ditch you've got an injury or you're just not feeling great nobody shares those so that's why a lot of kids don't make it up to sort of like the older age groups because they just think oh I'll just give up because they don't see other people going through it so I think it's about Running makes me me, but I want to make sure that I'm sharing my story as well um, to like help other people because I think it's given me so much and I think it could help other people too. Just what she said about there, yeah, obviously everyone sees the glory, but doesn't understand the story, so it's important that, you know, once you have been through it, you do share your narrative. Like, for me, don't get twisted, there is money to be made in track and building, it's very hard. At 25, I think I had something like 200k, but there was no one to teach me how you manage that. Um, so it's definitely like mentoring is a big part of it um, and what you do with what you have when you have it because it doesn't always last if you're not wise. Man, you weren't that bad at 18, <laughs> 17, you was on 100k and I was on the floor. And this okay. <laughs> 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 was on don't ever be. You guys had money coming out of here, three grand a month. Anyway, let, let, let's, let's not get into that. Um, so back to what you're saying. Why do you run? Well, I started running because, well, my dad told me not to, I always wanted to like show my dad that I can do something because my dad always said when he was younger, he did loads of stuff. He started swimming, quit, because if people were better than him. He started football, quit. He did basketball, quit. He did loads of sport and he was good. It's just that like every time he found someone better than him, he was like, ah, oh. so he changed. So, which happened to me as well in football as well. I got to a stage where I was like really good and then I got to a stage where I kept moving up levels and there's one, there's a level where I was like, I think, like, not the best, but there were other people better than me and they were getting scouted and I wasn't. And I was searching, I was like, why am I not getting scouted? And then the thing is, I wasn't real with myself. I was thinking I was better than I actually was. And then when that happens, like you're lost. Like especially when when like your parents as well, they don't really know that much about it, so they can't really educate. And you're trying to find your coach is telling you to go play in this position, go play in that position, and you start accepting it, yet yeah, that's not the position you wanna play in. I wanna be a striker, but he's playing me in left back because he just has to fill the team. I felt okay, that's why I'm gonna have to be playing left back because now you've accepted and you can't really do anything about it because your head's telling me, oh, I'm just good enough to stay, play left back. And I was like, you know what, oh, let me just change sport for a bit, let me choose running. And my dad used to tell me to run like in year seven, year eight, and I didn't really like it. Like, I was like, no, that's just long, it's just, why, why do I need to run? So I played football. I started running, I started, my, my, my PE teachers always, always told me, always told me, you're good, you're good running, but I, was, I didn't accept, I didn't, I was like, I'm good, I'll, I'll represent you, because I was, I, I was like a jack of all trades, I, I, I knew I, I was good at every sport, just because I'm agile, I'm, I'm fit, I can do anything, like, they can put me in a cricket team, I'll still ball, I'll still bat, anything, basketball team, but then I, it got to a stage where I didn't want to, like, lose, because I, I, my, my, um, my talent ran out of districts, because me, I take talent when I start losing, like, I, I, I see talent as it can only take you so far when you start losing. And for me, I, I say, when I start losing, my talents run out. I need to start working. 
and then so district comes some people win districts some districts are harder but I think my district is one of the hardest anyway so I, I came third at districts and I was like oh should I stop this came third again in year 8 came third again in year 9 and I had one more year for each of you why are you doing what you're doing in terms of track what do you want what do you want Inspired by my dad as a runner, but he never made it as a, like, a, a professional level athlete. But that's mm -hmm. something I'd like to do, and that's that's my that's my goal. Do you believe it? Yeah, coaches made me believe it. Yeah. Mystery.